Hello again everyone. Today, we will discuss subtraction of a fraction. Long method versus the shortcut method or the butterfly method. And you will decide which method is the best. So, let's have examples. 7 fifth or 7 over 5 minus 4 thirds or 4 over 3. What is the answer again? First, let us solve for the long method. So, as we noticed, the denominators are 5 and 3, and it is different from each other. So, we must find the LCD or the least common denominator. So, the factors of 5 are 5, 10, 15, and 20, and the factors of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and so on. And we get now the LCD, which is 15. And the next step, 15 divided by 5, the answer is 3. And 3 times 7, the answer is 21. And copy the minus sign. 15 divided by 3, the answer is 5 times 4, the answer is 20. And then 21 minus 20, the answer is 1. And copy the denominator, 15. The final answer is 1 over 15. Okay. So, we are through on the long method. Now, it is time to solve in the shortcut method or the butterfly method. The same given example. Again, 7 over 5 or 7 fifth minus 4 thirds or 4 over 3. So, in the shortcut method, we will just multiply or cross multiply. So, 7 times 3, the answer is 21 and then copy the minus sign. And 5 times 4. 5 times 4, the answer is 20 and 21 minus 20, the answer is 1. And the 1 will be or will become our the numerator. And for the denominator, we will just multiply 5 times 3. So, 5 times 3, the answer is 15. So, as you notice, we have the same answers as the long method. Okay, so... We are through discussing the long method versus the shortcut method. Now, it's your turn to answer. Okay. You can use long method or the shortcut method. Okay, so the given is 5 halves minus 3 fourths. What would be the answer? Again, comment down below. If you know the answer, good luck!